Hello and welcome to the Creative Cobalt. I'm Gaira and today we are looking at the miniatures from Cthulhu Wars, a Sandy Peterson game. This game comes with a total of 64 miniatures in various sizes. I have put a D&D Illithid Mind Flayer a miniature there for scale so that you can see roughly how large these actually are. First off, each of the four factions in the game comes with six cultists. So there are a total of 24 cultists in this game, uh, which is a whole lot of identical sculpts. These are luckily very cool sculpts, uh, but probably don't need that many. Here you can see some I have already painted, um, including one that where I switched out the forearm with some extra bits from a Reaper Bones miniature. Then you have six undeads. Uh, these kind of looks like um, mummies with tentacles uh, coming out of them. So it's definitely an interesting sculpt, different from your average zombies or uh, mummies, but... Then here you have two ghouls. These are already primed, so I hope you can see the details on them. Might be a bit hard to, and sorry about that. But they are very interesting. Uh, they don't look like D&D style ghouls. They are not your average uh, undead creatures. Or maybe even more reminiscent of uh, lizard folk or something, but you can see that they are wearing um, the forearm of some victim in their hands. Then you have these guys. These are deep ones. If you are familiar with the uh, the works of H.P. Lovecraft, uh, these are mentioned in uh, the story Shadow over Innsmouth. I have already painted up these and you could probably use these for uh, maybe a Kuotoa, um, but I'm not quite sold on that. Probably get some use for them. Now we move on to the larger creatures. These are fungi from Yugoth. And they're sort of kind of looks like uh, in between of some insect and some fungal plant. And you have four Biaki. Also, very insect-like creatures with wings. And you have three flying polyps. These are very nasty, nasty looking creatures. I wonder if they would maybe work well as uh, I think they're called oblix, flying heads uh, in, uh, in the abyss, I think. Anyway, they are very cool and very nasty. And you have the Shoggoths. These are definitely the inspiration for uh, the Jibbering Mouther in D&D. These are more eyes and less mouths, however, but 
their general ooze-like appearance is the same. Also, they are a size larger. Here you have three night gaunts. They are kind of reminiscent of maybe bone devils or gargoyles perhaps. Pretty sure I'll get some use out of them. Then you have the hunting horrors. Four winged serpents. These I'm pretty sure I will find some sort of use for. They are very cool looking and they aren't just a mass of um, eyes and appendages like some of these other sculpts. Then you have the star spawn which are kind of like baby Cthulhu's. Sadly, there are only two of these in the core set of the game. But with that, we are done with the large-sized creatures. Although these still... These ones are on large-sized bases, but I think they should be on huge sized bases. These are dark young, which are the spawn of Shibnigurath from uh, Lovecraft lore. Very nasty looking three-legged creatures. Then we are starting on the largest sculpts. And starting with the smallest of the largest scopes, this is the King in Yellow. Which is a very cool sculpt. Should certainly be able to use this for a high level boss fight of some kind. Next up is largest of them all. This is Hastur. That's a proper cosmic horror for you. And you have Nyarlathotep, the crawling chaos. So as you can see, there are definitely some very cool boss monsters in this game. Here we have Shubnigurath herself, which I spoke of earlier. This one's primed to black, it's actually red. Oh. It's a very cool sculpt. And then, finally, we have Cthulhu. Very, very cool sculpt of Cthulhu. I really like it. And you can't really see the wings on, uh, on there, but I'll... Just pop it down like that so you can see. It's pretty big. So have your adventures go up at any of these at some point and I'm sure you'll have a great time. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. That was Cthulhu Wars, a Sandy Peterson game. This game has expansion uh, sets. Uh, with even more miniatures. I highly recommend these uh, for the quality and the variation of the miniatures, despite there being 24 equal cultists in it. The, the diversity of the rest 
really makes this worth it. So I hope you enjoyed and like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you in the next video.